In the last few videos related to Flexbox, we have covered Flex Direction, Flex Wrap, Gap, and Justify content related utilities. Finally, in this video, we are going to cover the utilities related to align items. These utilities help align flex items along the cross axis. We talked about what is main axis in the last video in the justify content property. So perpendicular to that is a cross axis. For example, if when we are using justify content utilities, if something is aligning horizontally, then the utilities related to align items will work vertically. If the justify content items are working vertically, then the align item utilities will work horizontally. So it's just perpendicular to each other. Don't worry if you are confused, we will understand better when we see the practical examples. So here are the utilities related to align items that we will cover. We will see how they adjust the positioning of the flex items along the cross axis. So here I have a flex container which has three child elements. First, we will see what item start does. It aligns the items at the start of the cross axis. But it is a default position. So even if you add item start, nothing will change because it's already in the start position. So item start, I'm saving. As you can see, nothing changes. Same goes with flex call as well. I'll add flex call first and save it. This is the default behavior for flex call. But even if you add item start, nothing changes. So in a horizontal layout where we are using flex row or if we do not use flex call intentionally, then the items will be pushed to the top. And in the vertical layout, when we are using flex call, the items will be aligned to the left. Next, we will see the items end. Let me remove flex call. So here we are in the default position again. I'll add items end and save it and as you can see this is a horizontal layout so this pushes the items to the bottom and if it is a vertical layout means if i add flex call this will align the items to the right let's save it and as you can see it is on the right side now let me remove both the utilities now we will see the item center this just centers items along the cross axis so in a horizontal layout it vertically centers the items so let me add item center as you can see it is centering the items vertically but if i add flex call then this centers the items horizontally not vertically commonly we use these utilities along with the justify content utilities a lot to get the desired layouts for example if you want to center an item exactly in a container, then you actually use justify center along with item center. Let me uh, say without adding any utilities related to alignment or justifying. I'll also remove the child elements. I'll just keep one. So this is the default position when you have an element inside a flex container. So if you add justify center, this aligns the items horizontally. And if you use item center, this aligns the items vertically. So exactly in the center, you have the child element. Not just this, but there are a lot of use cases combining the utilities of justify content and align items. You will use them a lot once you start doing the real projects. So with this, we have finished the main properties related to Flexbox. In the next video, we will explore grid layout. See you there.